Have you taken a selfie today? In 2018, James Smith took 168 selfies on a cruise ship, breaking the Guinness World Record for the most selfies taken in three minutes. On March 31, 2014, the Adobo Chronicles ran a hoax story that the American Psychology Association had classified the obsessive taking of selfies, selfitis, as a mental disorder. I feel like people need to see therapists to tackle the issue because it's, it's something that goes deeper than just the taking of the selfie. But I feel like people need to know this is what I'm doing at this time, at this place. People should actually talk about it more and more because these are things that are happening day to day. These are things that are affecting especially we, the youth, especially the ladies. You only take just because you love yourself. So, yeah. so it's not a bad thing, so it cannot be, I don't think it's a mental issue. Obsession with yourself. Now how is that bad? You know, it's wastage of time. You cannot concentrate on the Tuzingine. I can say it's like a disease, so it can be addressed. While a 2017 selfitis research done by Jonathan Balakrishnan developed the selfitis behavioral scale as a new psychometrical scale, 2019 research by Dr. Fazana Begum cites selfitis as a behavioral addiction and a genuine mental condition. As a professional, I will not uh, classify it as a mental illness per se. Uh, first, because it's not, it's not uh, been researched enough for it to be classified as a mental illness. The reason they are doing this and someone is doing this is because the more the likes they get or the more photos they post, it boosts their self-confidence. And for this reason, they feel like they are better. It would be terrible if they don't get any like. Imagine you post this nice selfies and nobody likes self-confidence, depression, self-esteem, down. So basically, other mental disorders literally come in. And that's why suicidal issues are part of the negative impacts of selfies. In 2014, 19-year-old Danny Bowman spent 10 hours taking 200 selfies in an effort to get a perfect selfie. You think people have the same sentiments as you. And then you post and then nobody comments, nobody, even the likes are minimal. And then you start thinking, I, Connie, I'm not beautiful or I'm not pretty or people are not even noticing me as in what's wrong. I had to even delete WhatsApp. I had to delete, to delete Instagram. And it, it got to a point that uh, I felt like I was not beautiful. I was seeking too much validation from other people that I forget that what matters is me. So I had to go get help and I went for therapy. And after a couple of therapy, sessions that's when I began to now like appreciate myself as long as you feel good take that selfie post it that's it actually there's one selfie I posted with my friend uh, someone commented that he looks like monkeys it was from a different race yes so it, it, it was offending it made me feel bad actually and sometimes it it got to my esteem yes but we have to move on life has to move on i did not report it i just hid it from my comment section it was liked by a lot of people so one person does not affect the whole photo as selfitis establishes itself as a behavioral condition there is a need to practice healthy selfie taking habits try to enjoy the moment when you're in a place you don't have to take a photo of it or to take a photo of the environment with you in it it's not that all the time. Sometimes enjoy what is around you. Reporting for Top Story Season 3, my name is Joanne Mbataru.